an assessment process really has a couple of different components or steps. Interview, behavior checklist, direct assessment, and observation. The first being a gathering of background data and understanding what the parents are seeing from the child or what a physician or other um, provider has seen that is causing them to have a concern about autism spectrum disorder. And that background information comes from information that parents fill out as well as um, a direct interview that I conduct with parents where I ask them lots of questions about their child's developmental history, what behaviors they observe, what concerns that they have. In addition to that, we ask parents to fill out standardized behavior checklists where they are answering questions that indicate um, whether they see a particular behavior or whether a particular behavior is missing from their child's development at this point. And then the third component is a direct evaluation with the child. So we use a play-based assessment called the ADOS 2. That's an assessment tool that is agreed to be the gold standard that insurance accepts for a diagnosis of autism to be made by a licensed psychologist. So that direct assessment usually lasts anywhere, depending on how children tolerate, anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour and a half. The last component is that I like to also observe children in an environment where I'm not making a lot of demands on them, where they can play with toys or interact with their parents or choose to interact with me if they want to so that I can get a sense for what their um, naturalistic behavior looks like when they're engaged with high interest toys and those kinds of things.